let's consider triangle ABC. Let X be the midpoint of AB and Y will be the midpoint of AC. Now let's join X and Y. So the midpoint theorem says that this line XY will always be parallel to the third side which is BC. Also the length of XY will be half of the length of BC. Now let's learn the proof for this midpoint theorem in detail. There will be two things to prove. First, XY is parallel to BC and the second is XY is half of the length of BC. Before getting started, we'll do a simple construction. Let's draw a line parallel to the line AB and passing through C. Let this line be L. We also extend the line XY to meet the line L at point P. Now what's given is AX is equal to BX. This is because X is the midpoint. In the same way AY will be equal to CY. We also know that lines AB and CP are parallel to each other. Now let's consider triangle XAY and triangle YCP. Here angle XAY is equal to angle YCP. These two are the interior alternate angles for the two parallel lines AB and CP. Next we have angle AYX is equal to angle CYP. These two are the vertically opposite angles. We also have AY is equal to YC which is already given. This means according to angle side angle congruence property triangles X a Y and Y C P are congruent to each other and since they are congruent we can conclude that the corresponding sides will be equal. That means side A X will be equal to side C P. And this will be equal to side BX as well. So we can say in the quadrilateral BXPC the sides BX and CP are of equal length and they are parallel to each other which means the given quadrilateral is 
a parallelogram which will also conclude that the sides x p and b c are parallel so we also have x y is parallel to b c and thus we prove the first point now coming to our congruent triangles again the corresponding sides x y is equal to y p next let's consider the parallelogram b x p c the side b c will be equal to the side x p x p is nothing but x y plus y p since these two are equal we can write b c is equal to x y plus x y this is equal to twice the length of the line x y or in other words x y is half of the length of the side b c and thus we prove the second part of the midpoint theorem